This week we have some decent shooters on the list, which includes an early access favorite. Stay tuned. Remnant 2, sequel to the first hit game, Remnant from the Ashes, is the highly anticipated action adventure from Gunfire Games and Gearbox Publishing. This game is newly launched and was available for members to stream earlier in the week. Face off against deadly creatures and godlike bosses, explore strange new worlds, discover secrets, and unlock different archetypes to find the one that best suits your playstyle. Brave it alone or with a couple of buddies in online co-op. With friendly fire on, you'll probably want to pick your squad wisely. We have 4K footage on Remnant 2 coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And speaking of squatting up, for those who were dying for the early access game Starship Troopers Extermination to join GeForce Now, here's your calling. You can now join up with 15 others to squash as many bugs as you like on the 4080 Super Pods. Do your part as an elite deep space vanguard trooper set to take back planets claimed by the arachnid threat. And no, this game is not for those with arachnophobia. We should have footage and a crossplay on this game as well. Now for the elephant in the room. I have received a ton of comments asking me when Call of Duty is coming to GeForce Now, what about Warzone on GeForce Now, etc, etc. Now I highly recommend to these people that you keep up with the news regarding the Microsoft Activision deal. For the most part, this will determine when Microsoft actually gets acquisition of the games. At this point, Microsoft and Activision has extended the merger agreement deadline to October 18th. Basically, this means they have until then to come to a deal, and as of now, it looks like this deal has a 99% chance of going through, which means Call of Duty heading to GeForce Now is almost certain, along with the other games. Now here's the uncertain part. Once Microsoft acquires Activision Blizzard, it's up to Microsoft to decide when to add it to the platform. And since tons of Microsoft games have already been added to GeForce Now, this should go pretty quickly. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Oh wait, do you see how slow it is for Microsoft to add games to GeForce Now? I believe it'll take many months for them to add these games to the platform. Let's think about this for a second. I see Microsoft having to onboard Activision Blizzard games onto their own system and make it accessible to Game Pass before we even see it on GeForce Now. I would bet an arm and a leg that we'll see these games on Xbox Cloud long before GeForce Now. Heck, GeForce Now doesn't even have the Microsoft Store up and ready yet. Now hopefully I'm dead wrong because I'd love to be playing DMZ on GeForce Now during the holidays, but I just don't see us playing Call of Duty let alone many of the other Activision Blizzard games until mid next year. Yeah, I said it. Guys, I just don't see it for this year. But of course, this is just my take. We'll see what happens when the deal closes. Now for the full list of 8 games added to GeForce Now this week. First we have Remnant 2, a new release on Steam. Let's School, a new release on Steam. Grand Emprise, Time Travel Survival. A new release on Steam. Moto GP 23, available on Steam. Octopath Traveler, available on the Epic Game Store. Pro Cycling Manager 2023, available on Steam. Riders Republic, available on Steam. Starship Troopers Extermination, available on Steam. If you like this week's news overview of GeForce Now, feel free to give us a like. Also, make sure to subscribe at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.